As Americans, there's no getting around paying our share of taxes. And a bill in the South Carolina House of Representatives could give coastal cities the chance to charge an accommodations tax to preserve beaches. One of the lawmakers riding the bill's wave is Horry County Representative Nelson Hardwick. There's less and less money on the federal level going to be coming down to help when we have a problem with our beaches and um, because they don't have any money. The bill would allow coastal municipalities to determine if they want to impose a 1% tax when you rent a hotel room or a vacation property. Hardwick says the problem is not as dire on Grand Strand beaches, but in coastal areas near Charleston, the need is there. The city of Myrtle Beach spent $1.75 million last year in coastal preservation. It's up to us to make sure our beach stays pristine in order to bring tourists in because this is what they're coming for, the Atlantic Ocean. Mayor John Rhodes says city council has not discussed the tax, but it is something they're interested in considering. The word tax is just a, a, a dangerous word that people just do not like. But this here would strictly be on accommodations, not something that would come out of our citizens in the, in the city, our residents, but strictly on the, on the rental of rooms. 